Welcome to another edition of the Career and Life Show. And as you can see here, I've got my coffee at Starbucks. Gives you a hint where we're going this time. We are going back to the Pacific Northwest, Seattle, Washington, and we are going to interview Jason Scott from Pike Place Fish in Pike Place Market. This is gonna be a lot of fun. We're actually gonna do some fish throwing as well, which is gonna be really cool. But I think when you think of Seattle, and we've had a show about Seattle before, you think coffee, Pacific Northwest, you think Starbucks, Ghost Alley Espresso, you think Grunge Rock, like Nirvana, and obviously Pike Place Fish Market. And a friend of mine who I previously interviewed on this show actually was doing a monthly walkthrough. And that's what really intrigued me about Pike Place Market to really see what was going on. And I totally forgot about the guys that throw fish. They call themselves fishmongers. So we're gonna sit down with Jason Scott. He's actually going to be walking around, which is gonna be really exciting. So we've never done something like this before. We're gonna see some fish thrown. We're gonna to talk to Jason about how he got started in the business. We're gonna talk about what's going on with Pike Place Fish Market, how they survived COVID, and how they become world renowned with all of they do because they actually ship all over the US and internationally. So they've got a wide variety of, of products, fish obviously that they send out and we're actually ordering something for this Thanksgiving as well. So this is gonna be super exciting. I cannot wait to get into this. So without further ado, here's Jason Scott from Pike Place Fish. Our world is changing faster and faster. Humans are constantly on the go. Over 70% of people are not happy in some way. They're living in the shadows of fear, especially in their careers and life. Are we humans doomed? I don't think so. And that's where I come in. My name is Joseph Stanley Reichowski, otherwise known as Joe Wu. Each week, I seek to uncover what it takes to truly live your life to the fullest by finding out through interviewing people what were their failures, and what did it take for them to reach success? Their stories are truly inspiring, and perhaps they'll inspire you to let go of your fear and live your career and life to the fullest. Ryan, he's one of the other. Hey, hey Andrew, how you doing, Ryan? Yeah. Appreciate you guys yeah. on doing this. This is awesome. Love you guys. You're awesome. Totally. Yeah. Can cool. we throw a fish real quick? Yeah. Let's do it. We're going to do it. We're gonna you do can't it. start an interview any better ready? than this. <laughs> <laughs> no. What's that? I said you can't start an interview any better than this. <laughs> GJ! GJ! Hey! hey. Woo! Beautiful. Thank you, man. Yeah. Again. Wow. <laughs> wow that was awesome good job yep. good job guys this is our shop here it's a nice warm sort of balmy 40 something degree day here in seattle uh, you're beating us here in delaware and philly we're like i think we're, well we're about 40s probably so about the same <laughs> oh wow yeah that's awesome a lot, of, a lot of people are out it's nice you know this is kind of the calm before the Christmas storm here. So that looks awesome. Yeah, there's some people here. Very nice. So you've never been to Pike Place Fish, right? No, I have never yep. been to Seattle. Um, okay. I was supposed to go years ago, and it didn't happen. Yeah. But it is on the bucket list in the next year to get the family here. Yeah, it's a, so, it's a fun city. It really yeah, is fun. I, I, I just everything I've seen, I just love the culture. And there was a guy that was doing a monthly walk through a Pike Place market, and I fell in love with it. Um, yeah. It was great. Yeah, I think I've seen that. Uh, was it good during COVID? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Vietnamese guy, Lao Ocean. And, yep. and it was just, yes. he walked by. He was so cool and super yep. nice. I interviewed him about a year ago. Oh, cool. And same thing. So, yeah, yeah. That's I awesome. Saw I saw, I think I saw, I definitely saw the shop on some of that footage. Yeah. And I just fell in love with it again. I was like, man, I got to yep. get out there. Like, I just <laughs> love just everything. So, yep. and of course, since I'm out there, man, we'll be out there. We'll see you guys. This is, look you this up. is Stuart. Stuart's. Is this a shipping order? Or, uh... Stuart, what's up? What? Uh, no, I'm 
this he's getting a black card. This is yep. This is Joe. How you doing? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be ordering soon too yeah. for Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. he's selling a black card here. He's about nice. That is awesome. That's a good that's a good crowd out there. Nice. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, that's Craig. Just dropped the black card. Well, oh, Craig, we have to erase that. Yep. <laughs> this is our monkfish. I love he's it. A yeah, he's a, scares the heck out of people. We pull the string and uh, people get up close, get a picture, and then we pull up, pull the string and it scares. Gotcha. The heck out. Oh, that's, so that's cool. That's, that's great. That's fun. Yeah. I this, saw that in the this, video. That's awesome. There's all there's all our shipping boxes going out for today so far. Yeah, wow. A nice nice pallet. A couple pallets of shippers going all over the country. We got a. Uh, this is Arizona. North Carolina, Utah, New York. Yeah, we're going. It's, thank yep. God, people. People are You'll be getting what you. Yeah, I'll be ordering probably tonight or tomorrow. So you'll be getting oh, one for yeah. me. <laughs> we got nice tuna right now. Oh, wow. fish, mahi, salmon's really good. Alaskan king salmon. Wow. Uh, I'll just give you a quick quick tour of the shop. No, this Dungeness, is awesome. This is great. I love this. Dungeness crab, uh, king crab. We still got you know king crab. Thank God we bought a bunch before they closed the season. <laughs> right. <laughs> Different prawns, jumbo prawns, spot prawns. That's Kobe. Hey, you know, <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> he's Co 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 Kobe's going on two weeks here. So he's, he's, oh, awesome. He's learning. Yeah. Two, three weeks, I think. Yeah. So how many Various people do you have there? Like working for you guys, roughly? We got a, uh, let me see. Right now, I think there's about 18 on schedule. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then Christmas we'll have college kids coming back. So we'll be, I think, 25. Wow. Yeah. Here's our local meat market right next door. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Like second, third generation meat market. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. I, I love that area. I just, I, I, yeah. could, I could live out there easily. You, like, if somebody said, hey, build a business, I'd be out there in a heartbeat. It's just something hey, about there, it. Yeah. There's some business for sale down here. Yeah. I might have <laughs> to. Like, oh, we, well, we've been talking about it, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I love it. That's Eric. Eric, what's up? <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. This is a great yeah. way to start an interview. I love cool. this. This yeah, is yeah. like, I've never done this before like this. So this is awesome. Yeah, I haven't either. So actually uh, with the school, we did a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, cool. Cool. I'm awesome. kind of new to the Zoom and all this stuff, but we're, we're, we're learning. Yeah, no. And anything yeah. I can do to help you guys out and promote yeah. you guys too. I mean, you guys are awesome. I just love your videos. I love your TikToks. They're awesome. Yeah. Thank you. That's our, that's our marketing guy, Diego. He's awesome. Yeah. He's, I, lo he's I love the live on. feed. Yeah, the live feed's cool on the, on the website. I was like, man, if you guys, I'll tell you, if you guys had a YouTube channel, like you had a live feed, I'd be watching it every Saturday, Sunday morning, waking up, drinking coffee. Like, it'd be so cool <laughs> just to see. I was like, man, but it's I do great. Too. So, yeah, I'm home sometimes, and I'll just look to see how, how busy is it right now. Down there. Yeah. yeah, gotcha. That's awesome. So yeah. you got into the business, I guess, uh, God, uh, some time ago, right? You bought it or were part owner, I guess? Yeah, yeah I've been working here since full-time since 93. Wow. Um, I started actually as a kid working down here when I was about nine years old. My mom worked here before I was born. Oh my gosh. So was, yeah. So I grew up in this Pike Place market. Wow. And, yep. And uh, myself and three other uh, longtime managers got the opportunity to buy the business from the previous owner who had it since 1965. Oh my gosh. John Yokoyama. Okay. Um, yeah. And he, he trained us well. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So what, what do you think makes um, Pike Place so special? I mean, I think I, I, a lot of reasons, obviously the atmosphere, I think you guys, I mean, you guys are amazing with what you do that just the attitude, the approach you have, the customer service I've seen is, is awesome. But what, what, does it make, what makes it so special just to be there? You know, you know, it's a, we create a fun environment. I mean, yeah. Obviously. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it could be really cold down here. You know, it is fish, slimy. Right. You know, gross fish, if, if you think it is. Uh, ice. Um, you know, we're here all year round. You know, early in the morning till, you know, early evening. And it's a long day. And uh, it could be a real miserable job, but we make it fun. You know? Right. I mean, it's, it's awesome. Fish, you know, fish is yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah, you, can't be, you can't beat that, right? I'd be, yes. Yeah, see, if I was there, I'd be like, Ghost Alley Expresso downstairs, walk up the steps, and I'd be right yeah, up yeah. there. Yeah, there's Ghost Alley's sign right there. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, we just, you know, we want to create a fun, yeah. safe uh, experience, you know, environment for our customers. Right? Even if you're not buying fish, we want you to come and hang out with us. And, right. And, uh, you know, and it makes our day better to, to have fun with people and sell the best fish we can. And it makes people's day. We want to make people's day, whether they're buying or not. That's, you know, that's kind of the catalyst right. behind all this stuff is having a, having a fun 
loving, safe environment. Yeah, and, I, I and love sell it. really good fish. Right. And you then you got to throw fish stuff. too, right? I mean, that's what <laughs> yeah. I love too. Is like, I, I know, you know, people say, hey, there's a place to throw fish. And I'm like, what do you think the whole thing behind that is? Because so, I always find it interesting. Because like, to me, it's like, I think it's cool. It's neat. It's unique. But yeah. then it's like, truly, it's like, oh, you're throwing fish. And you're like, but yeah. every time I see it, I still watch it. Like I'll see a video somewhere. I'm like, there's another fish. And I'm like, I stop and watch it. So what do you think kind of behind that? <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's quite a few steps from the front bench you know yeah. like you bought a salmon to walk all the way around up behind the counter put it on the scale right you know cut it walk back out to the customer so we've sort of uh, it's for efficiency you know no pun intended um <laughs> there you go <laughs> and to make it fun you know and sort of energizing and exciting for the customers and us i mean you know i could be out here and you just bought a wild king salmon and you're shipping it to new york and, you know and we yell it out wild king for joe going to new york and wow the crew responds back to that you know and the crowd digs it and it gives us energy and it just creates a sort of really uh, fun and, and inviting environment. I mean, that's, yeah, it's, it's really to get it over the counter, but we do it in a way where, you know, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, do you, do you ever get complaints? People are like, come on, what are you doing? I'm sure you probably get like any business, you probably get that, but oh, it's yeah, still totally. fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we do get, you know, there's, we get the people like, why you guys damage the fish? You know, that's horrible. And, yeah. We don't. We, th we throw it in. A, we, we actually have specific uh, chum salmon that are sort of spawned out is the yeah. term. And they're, you could eat them if you, if you want to. They're not going to taste very good like cardboard, <laughs> not a lot of flavor. But we buy right. these cheap, cheaper salmon to do, you know, everybody has a cell phone. Everybody wants that video. So we just, yeah. you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll throw this chum salmon back forth, you know, right. 20 times or whatever. And then we give it to the, the Woodland Park Zoo. Uh, we yeah. donate it to this, the local zoo for the bears. The oh, that's bears. awesome. Yeah, so we're not wasting the salmon. But yeah, some people say, why are you damaging the fish? But we really throw it in a way that yeah. you know, you're buying a $500 king salmon. Right. We, we're throwing it nice. We're catching it nice. We're, yeah. You know, we're exactly. handling it in a way that we want you to enjoy it. And we're not damaging the fish. You know, we, we love this fish. You know, it's yeah. our life. Yeah. And you can see that. I mean, you clearly see you guys are, are so passionate about it. I mean, I, I you just feel the energy. Even just talking now, you just kind of feel that energy and you feel the vibe and you see it. And it's funny how people stop. So... <laughs> how, how do you how do you effectively run a business though? Like from from you know Pike Place, basically in Seattle, there where you're shipping around pretty much to the U.S. Um, and I guess the world as well. So how do you run it locally? Yeah. You support everybody locally, and then just manage the massive thing. I mean, just seeing those boxes, there, I'm like, wow, yeah. that's one out today. That's impressive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it took it took a lot of hard work to get to where we are. You know, we've had a pretty decent website and a good sort of shipping uh, business for. 15, 20 years, you know, yeah. uh, we didn't really dump a lot of money into it. You know, we just hired a marketing guy, Diego, who's awesome. He's, you know, like you said, the TikTok videos and the Instagram yeah. and all this stuff and really pushing that kind of creating a fun, what we do here, putting out online, you know right. what I mean? Like great photos of, you know, of fish and us and our, with our personalities and some fun videos and really started targeting people that aren't in Seattle. Right. Um, you know, here. Uh, and thankfully, we had that sort of foundation built during COVID. Shipping went crazy through the roof. Nobody was here at the market, right? I mean, right. nobody was here. And our shipping went nuts. And thank God we were set up, you know, that way. We, we just hit the overdrive and just wrote yeah. it. You know, I mean, we were busy through, through COVID and we're still busy to this day. You know? That's awesome. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. I guess with COVID, you know, probably locally shut down, but I was thinking, like, all right, you know, because I was watching that guy's videos and i'm like yeah, yeah you saw there. yeah it, it was scary there was nobody in seattle i mean we, right. had our, we had we have gates that go up around the fish market we actually had the gates up wow. we behind the gate with our masks on <laughs> uh and packing tons of shipping oils it was nuts thank god we we made it through all that we learned a lot too you know i mean we thrived definitely through that uh awesome. and we have we have a solid core of locals that have been coming here for you know, generations, you know, their kids, uh, right. you know, um, so we have a great name here in Seattle. Um, you know, we just our local, we love our locals. We really, we really stress to our, our newer employees that, you know, take care of those locals because, you know, yeah, they're just as important as somebody traveling from any other part of the world that has never right. seen us before, you know. Yeah, that's a great point you bring up, you know, take care of your foundation, people that help, yeah. you know, build a business. So that's, that's, yeah. that's a great, great point. And it's it's hard for our locals because they, especially in the summer, they come down here and there's tons of people down here and they have to weed through the crowd and you see sort of the stress on their faces sometimes. Yeah. You know, they, they just want their dinner for the right. night. 
and yet they have to push their way through tons of yeah. cell phone cameras watching us throw fish, you know, so we really have to pay attention to them and make sure yeah. that they're, it's their market, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. It's what yeah. they'll build and yeah. help, help sustain. So yeah, I, yeah. I totally get yeah. that. So, yeah. Yeah. so how do like, if I'm like, you know, a customer saying, Hey, you know, I want to order something. So you go online, obviously in order and you just place yep. order that way and you guys ship it out. How does that process kind of work? Cause that, that seems real interesting to be able to fish seafood yeah. and fish and everything like it's it, it really like astonishes me how you guys do it so quickly and you get it like the next day yeah yeah we have a you know like our driver's out right now i'll just walk you over to our little shipping yeah department. our driver's out right now picking up fish that's flying down from alaska or or locally uh, right. our, our truck parks right right there in front of the shop yep. we unload it we bring it right here um into our cooler <laughs> oh wow beautiful cooler. yeah it's, you know, it's kind of crazy right now, but we just load, you know, all these shells with salmon with a big ice machine. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Constantly, make, constantly making ice all day. Yeah. Um, yeah, we just re replenish the cooler all day and then we have a little freezer and we're constantly bringing fish in. We're constantly shipping out, as you see here, you know. Right. And then, uh, so yeah, you're online or you call. Right. Uh, here's our phone. <laughs> this oh, wow. is our yeah. entire shipping department right here. Right? Oh, my gosh. It's, that's it's, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, right. So, you know, here's the orders get printed here. Uh, bam. It tells you what you want. This is for Mr. Kevin. Uh, where is he? Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's local. He's local. Wenatchee, Washington. There's another one going to Utah. You know, so yeah, these orders spit out here. Uh, we bring them up top here. <laughs> Say hi, Cho. This is Cho. That's Joe. Cho. 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 How are you doing? Oh, I'm Cho. Nice to meet nice you. To meet he you. says hello. He said the same thing. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Just, this nice young lady here is buying fish, shipping it to Florida. She's here, you know, in person. So she's awesome. picked out some, something that we're going to ship for today. This is Eric. He's actually that packing. He's look, there he he's, is. Look, that, that's Eric right there. I've seen Eric on TikTok. That's Eric there and that's Eric there. She's seen you on TikTok. Oh, nice. She's seen you the salmon. <laughs> yeah. And this is an over-counter order. This is somebody that was here in person that, that oh, picked wow. out fish that we're packing right now. And then this will go on that pallet and UPS will pick it up. I didn't realize how big the place was because I, I thought it was just like the front. I thought it saw some signs, but just seeing how big it is, I'm yeah. like impressed. It's, like, wow. Yeah, it's, it's 11, 1,100 square feet. So not too big, but this yeah. is Toby's learning how to cut a black cod here. Oh, wow. There so you we, go. We, re we really train, you know, uh, how to cut fish, how to, you know, we really want to have the best fish and cut it. You know, you spend a lot of money on fish. You want it to look really nice. You know, so there we go. We really stress training on how to cut fish. Yeah. That's we don't awesome. care where, you, where you've learned or what you learned. In your past, you want to kind of train, train the pike place way. Right. So, like, if I'm going to play and I start there, like, what's the training like? Is it like a, um, like, just a long kind of period of just, like, obviously you got to be able to, you know, throw the fish and things like that and cut and be able to, to do the right things. Like, what's the training process like? I'm sure it's probably good and intense as well. Yeah. I, um, <clears throat> yeah. It's, uh, there's a lot to take in here. You know, you're not just working in a fish pond you're working with people too so you, so it, you know you you have to be good with people uh, people's skills are definitely a plus you gotta like people right you know you on your toes i mean those are it helps here to have that kind of personality that's outgoing you know right. you're, you're meeting people from all over the world if you don't right. like people this isn't the job for you <laughs> but yeah, yeah like a, an average training day would be you know you're shoveling ice in the morning you're learning how to do displays you know we have we all coach each other here. So nice. we're getting sort of, we call it coaching, um, you know, showing how to do things a certain pike place fish way. So you can get coaching from anybody throughout the day. So you, right. know, you could have 12 people on sort of be your coach throughout the day, you know? Yeah. That's like awesome. We, we, yeah. I mean, we really, we really want to bring new employees up to speed fast and there's a lot to learn. Um, it's kind of up to the individual how fast they learn. You know, I've seen people that have never cut a fish before learn and, you know, a month and some, it takes three months, you know? Right. So, yeah. wow. but, I mean, that's, it's super important to learn how to cut a fish if you're working here, you know? So that's learn how to cut is a big one. Learn how to display make beautiful yeah. displays. Uh, having, but... yeah. yeah. Uh, knowing good fish, you know, we'll get, we'll get uh, deliveries of fish sometimes and it might not be as up to our standards. So we will return it. So it's, you know, that sort of coaching, how to look for quality, you know, super important. Right. No, you, know, you ship awesome. a fish to somebody across the country and they're not happy. I mean, they might not never call you again, you know? Right. Oh. Last second. That's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. It'll come back. Probably takes a second or so. No big deal. 
Yeah, I think we lost, we lost the picture, but that's okay. I think we still hear you. Okay. That's awesome. But um, so you guys also do corporate training too. I was reading. I, I was like actually surprised at that. So is that kind of like an extension of what you've been doing or? Um, there we yeah, go. We do, you know, yeah. Like I think we've been doing that for 20 years, somewhere oh, wow. around there. You know, yeah. With the previous owner, Johnny Yokoyama, and he had a business sort of a coach that he had worked with many years, you know, that sort of facilitated in the beginning, getting us all out there sort of, you know, corporate gigs and speaking about what we do, you know, uh, team and, and uh, loving the customer, loving each other and supporting each other and coaching and listening to each other a certain way. And, right. You know, the fun, fundamentals behind like those fish. And so, yeah, we, Ryan, Ryan and I just did a, a speaking gig the other day at, the, at one of the local hotels for a convention, you know, and teamwork. And it's fun. It's a great opportunity for us to go out and speak about what we do. You know, right. You know, yeah, and the People philosophy it. that you guys have, it's, it's, it's really amazing because you see it across the board, your social media, the website, just the emails and things you get, newsletter stuff, like it really just, it resonates and you feel it. And it's like, you could see it's a, it's a tight knit group and people are just very friendly. And, and, you know, even when you call there, it's like, people are like, how can I help you? It's, it's, it's very impressive. Yeah. So you guys are doing a phenomenal job at it. I love yeah. it. Thank you. We want to treat people like family, you know, and, and it's how we all want to be treated. Right. I don't like going yeah. somewhere, spending my hard earned money where I feel like it doesn't really matter or, right. You know, they could care, they could care less. So yeah. you don't want people to feel that way. Yeah. And it's all about that experience, you know, the customer service and just treating people like family, like, you know, long-term, like, you know, they buy and then they refer people and your business does really well. Yeah. There's four fish markets down here. Right. So, wow. and they're not that far. They're just right down the hallway. So, right. you know, you could, you could come here and get your token fish flying picture or video and then go down the hallway and buy fish, you know, which happens sometimes, but yeah. Uh, so that's why we want to create a fun space. We want to educate our customers with what we have and how to cook it. You know, we just, yeah, <laughs> we want to be the best we can be. Yeah, that's and there's awesome. a lot of competition, you know. So, oh yeah, I'm sure. And and you guys, you guys definitely stand out, which is great. And being yeah. you know, world renowned now is kind of cool, and, yeah. and things like that. I'm sure it's a nice little thing. So, what what's your biggest selling item there? I would just say, was it the salmon or? We sell a lot of salmon, a lot of Dungeness crab, a lot of king crab, probably salmon and crab. Yeah. Very cool. King crab, snow crab, Dungeness crab. Gotcha. So what would you recommend then? Like say I'm ordering for Thanksgiving, like what are some, some good things that we can tell people like, Hey, you've got a couple of good things yeah. you can order. Like that would go good yeah. with say Turkey or something. Yeah. We always have amazing salmon. Like that's our you know, right. priority, right? So you could take a nice, really cool piece of salmon or halibut. Oysters. A lot of people like oysters, you know, oh, wow. Thanksgiving, the stuffing. Yeah. Um, that sounds great. Let's do this, do this one handed here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. So that's a nice, nice wild king salmon fillet, right? Wow. That, that that fillet is probably about three pounds. Figure half pound per person somewhere around there. So you know, a fillet like that could feed about six people. Yeah. Uh, what do we got? Forty bucks a pound. It is Alaskan and it's wild. Yep. Uh, Forty bucks a pound. So got about you know a little over hundred dollars. You could feed six people somewhere around there. Yeah. Nice little appetizer. Yeah. You gotta nice make, piece of fish. Yeah. Yeah. And you would take cool. that. You could grill it, you could bake it, 375, 400, 15, 20 minutes, you know, some little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. We have yeah. our little seasonings that we offer here at the shop, you know. Oh, wow. That's yeah. cool. You can get those online as well. Um, I think that's, a, people think fish is really hard to cook. You know, it's, it's not. I think the biggest thing with fish is if you overcook it, it doesn't taste right. very good or texture. So it's, it's really, right. look at this fresh, this is Alaskan halibut, really nice. Oh, wow. Halibut steak there, sorry. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that place somebody, but yeah, halibut's really nice. Halibut, cut a steak off that. Yeah, you can bake that. You know, inch and a half thick halibut steak, bake it 15, 20 minutes or something. Amazing. Wow, that's really cool. That's neat. Yeah, that is something. Yeah, and, uh, a lot of people eat salmon for. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's always yeah, it's always kind yeah. of a, a good one, a good choice or safe. Some people say it's totally. a safe choice, but yeah, it's it's yeah. always good. So yep. what's the hardest thing for you guys running the business there? What would you say is like a, like a challenge? Is it just meeting the demand or like what, what's always like something where you guys are like, hey, we can maybe improve this a little yeah. bit or something? Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's a, I don't want to say tough time, but it's definitely an interesting time, you know, today. Yeah. Just, you know, history. And you got to be on your toes having a business, you know, I mean, right. especially with social media and 
Yeah. You know, um, uh, companies are really changing and, you know, taking care of their employees too. You know? Right. And that's some, something that we, you know, Johnny, previous owner, always took great care of us. Great health insurance, 401k package, uh, um, profit share. You, know, uh, you get free fish. You know, you get a lot yeah. of amount of fish every week to take home and try. Wow, that's cool. That's a great, great benefit. Benefits, right? Totally. Yeah. So, so we want to make sure we take care of, you know, our employees better than he took care of us, you know, and we're doing that. And that's great. So I think today, yeah, you, I mean, you're as good as your employees. You know, I mean, that's one thing I think <laughs> John, you always do is like, you know, you take care of us. We're going to take care of him. It's, it's right. very reciprocal, you know, and we respected him and he respects us and uh, we want to do the best job we can. And I think as an employer now working alongside our, our crew, uh, you know, they're only, we're only as good as they are, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, you really have to support. Yeah, it's and you're seeing sort of a movement out there where companies are taking care of their employees. I think it's super yeah. important. You know, we we work really hard. You know, and, and uh, yep, <laughs> especially in retail, right. tough business. Oh know? yeah, yeah. And like you said, and, the competition. There's a lot of it around you. Yeah, sure. I think with us though is is uh, education. You know, education, ed- educating the customer what we have and how to prepare it. Um, being fully transparent with what we have, you know, we're sustainable now. We used to sell, if we could get it, we would sell it, you know, but yeah. we start realizing that if we just keep, you know, that mentality up, there's not going to be anything left. So, you know, yeah, Absolutely. we really have to pay attention to what we're getting and who we're getting it from and make sure that those distributors or, or companies are in line with th- those ideas that we have. You know? Right. Your values and everything. Absolutely. Value, so. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. So what, what's a big thing, like, you know, a Pike Place Market, there's there's this mystique about it. And I guess what what's like the, I mean, the main thing, like it's it's such a huge attraction there, but it just seems like it's taken on this own lore of its own, you know, because I see yeah. more and more people, like friends and colleagues have been out there. What's the attraction really? Like, is it just just the market? It's so, it's been there for so long. And I've always kind of wondered that. I'm like, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's I love it. It's just, there's so many yeah. things you could say. You know? You know, I have a sort of different perspective because I grew up down here. So it's, right. it's always been so, I never want to take it for granted. But, you know, I did move to New York when I was younger, in my 20s. And I missed the family sort of environment down here. You know, I walk around all these businesses and there's hundreds right. of businesses down here. And, I, you know, you know everybody. And there might be a different restaurant I go to every week for lunch. Like, right. you know, we all share the love down here. Um, it's that kind of place for people. You know, they come to the market and there's amazing things to see, you know, food and crafts and yeah. rest, restaurants and street musicians. And we have real characters that hang out down here. I've you know, seen a couple. Also, <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. That, yeah. that keep the market fun, you know. Um, yeah. Um, it's just a really special place for, for people just to hang out, you know, and whether they've been doing it their whole life or it's their first right. time, you know. Yeah. I mean, so much history there too, I think that you see, you know, and even though new businesses come and go and, and things like that, there's just a, just a history. And I think the rich history that's there and, you know, you even got Starbucks down the street, you know, technically yeah. their first location and, and you yeah, got yeah, yeah. in there forever. So it's, it's, yeah. it's cool. Yeah. It's fun to see, uh, you know, the same look with all these years too, just, you know, they, they, uh, they come down with their canvas shopping bags and they, you know, load up on the produce or they go to the local grocery store here and, get their you know milk and eggs or whatever they come get their fish they go to del Rentis and get their you know their favorite pasta or wow. pear, or uh, uh, fresh sliced meats or cheeses and there's a meat market you know it's like you can get yeah. it, everything done you know it's really wow so you, you can know, get it, yeah you can get there and get everything you know wow yeah. there's a honey place you, know, you get your honey and there's a creamery there's all kinds of really cool that is people, awesome yeah you could live in your car right here uh, you know, just <laughs> yeah, shopping. right <laughs> just park there and get everything in there. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, no, this has been great. I really appreciate you, yep. you taking the time. Uh, so what's next for you guys? What, what do you think is next for Pike Place Fish? Like, um, obviously, you know, continue to do what you're doing, but is there something yeah. you guys are, are cooking up like that? You're saying, hey, we're going to do this now? Yeah, it's, you know, this run in this place is, is takes a lot of energy, you know, and it's great. Yeah. And we're, we're doing great. We don't want to go too crazy out there and yeah. get our hands and a bunch of other stuff. We, we would eventually like to do a, a sort of a frozen seafood line, you know, where, oh, wow. where, uh, yeah, where we could ship, you know, frozen fish products anywhere. I mean, that right. would be cool. You know, I mean, we do fresh now and some frozen products, but we ship 
with dry ice, gelatin ice, I'm sorry, not dry gotcha. ice. Gotcha. So being able to ship something with dry ice and letting it, uh, uh, longer shipping time, you know, would, would help hit customers, more customers, I think, uh, right. bring the shipping down a little bit, you know, there's a lot of ground shipping that we could yeah. do, doing, doing frozen products like that. Uh, who knows, man, we're, we're always so creative around here, uh, you know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you can see it. I mean, there's a lot. And I guess yeah. that you were saying, I think it's Diego. I mean, hats off to him for doing the social media because it's, yeah, yeah. I think, like, I've noticed, like, just in because I, I have to be on it for my businesses and it's a yeah. big piece. And it, it's interesting how even a lot of the ads, I do a lot of Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Google and YouTube. Yeah. And I see you guys like all the time, like, sponsor. I'm like, that's awesome. Great. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I love, love seeing it. So, yeah. I mean, in a couple of weeks here, Christmas, and we're going to be shipping out this whole, there's going to be, pallets and pallets of boxes here and we're wow. shipping out th thousands of shipping orders in those couple of weeks you know and it's for a small crew to be able to do that it's amazing you know and, yeah uh, that's, yeah, that's it's, something yeah we have quite a thing going on here so i don't know what what's what's next something's next though you know? yeah oh you guys will think of it you guys have been creative <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and you've lasted yeah. so long i'm sure it's it's going to be phenomenal whatever you yeah. know whatever it is i mean there's yeah. so so much that you could do but like you said it's a great point too you don't want to go too fast and you want to kind of keep it going because again it goes back to take care of locals and and some of yeah. the regulars and stuff and that's that's yeah. where it is yeah you see a lot of a uh, restaurant or something that gets bigger and moves to a bigger space you know and then it yeah. kind of loses loses that original sort of energy they had you know? yeah. yeah that's awesome well jason well thank you so much for joining thank us you. i appreciate yeah. you on the show yeah. here and it looks like oh. we're uh, we're running there goes a fish that's a perfect way to end this <laughs> yeah, thing yeah. man <laughs> okay. that is awesome awesome so easy appreciate it yeah, yeah come thank on you down. Yep, absolutely i'll be down yeah. soon yeah. and i'll be ordering probably the next day or so for sure cool thank you great thanks guys <laughs> take care Goodbye. thank you bye-bye yeah, bye. what did you guys think of that one was that not awesome Again, thank you, Jason Scott from Pike Place Fish for taking the time out of a busy day, a busy time of year to sit down with us and talk about your business and, and everything. That was just fun. I love the fish throwing. Um, you guys, we got to see everything, right? You got to see how they prepare the fish, all the boxes in the back, ready to go out. I could not believe the number of boxes they had that they were shipping out that day. And that's what keeps them busy and that's what keeps them going. So it was real interesting to learn Jason's story. He was basically born right near there and uh, he and a couple other partners bought the business from a famous person who was running it for such a long time. But there were so many great themes in talking to Jason. You see how he interacted with his fellow employees and fellow staff members. Totally professional, just a wonderful attitude, uh, walking by people, talking to people, saying hello, friendly, a smile. And I think that's what brings the charm to Pike Place Fish Market is these guys are just top notch, phenomenal. They love what they do. You can totally see they're passionate about everything. And that's what sticks out. And then also too, how they throw the fish. They love it, they shout, they yell, um, they have fun with it. And you heard them talk about treating the customers equally across the board. The people who are actually locals that come in there, making room for them to come in and make sure they get their, uh, they're able to pick up their food. And then also too, when they ship it out, the touch of care that they put in all the boxes, how they package things, how they slice things. I mean, he talked about training for a few days where you learn how to slice a fish. So um, it, I wanna get out there and actually learn, I wanna be able to throw a fish. And hats off to you, Jason and the team. You guys are truly phenomenal. But again, it just speaks volumes of how a business has, has lasted. And that's exactly what you heard him say, the previous owner as well. Same commitment to excellence, quality, and just the communication and everything. And I think that's what stuck out across the board. These guys are just so wonderful and so much fun. I had a blast with this one. I hope you guys did too. Hope you guys got a lot out of this and we'll see you next time on the Career and Life Show. I'm getting ready to order my fish and drink my coffee from Seattle. Take care, everybody.